Hey there, welcome back. Lots of research done. You got alt and const. Uh, I've set up some more little targets as well. Evo 1 gives us um, some little basic evocations. There's a nice um, vine error here for me to get some nature mages. Many of my cap only guys have uh, nature. I haven't started recruiting them yet. And this also gives us some basic starfighters, arcane bolts, and solar rays. There's a lot of versions of these spells in the book. Um, starfighters is good for everything. Arcane Bolt for magic beings, Solar Rays for undead beings. Uh, you see those a lot throughout the evocation book. Uh, Enchantment 1 gives us, mostly it's for the two nature spells again. Got an AoE 3 Lingering 4 Haste, which is nice, and then Summon Vine Men. Gives you two Vine Men in combat. Pretty nice. There's some little fire things in here as well, like a little version of Flaming Arrows. Might use that. And then the next real target is going to be Alt 3. Um, Alt 3 gives us a nice version of Twist Fate, which is Group Cheated Fate. There's a 50% cast time and an AoE of 4, gives you Twist Fate. We can put that on a lot of our units pretty easily at the beginning of combat. Um, also gives us Iron Skin for our mages as well, which is pretty good. Uh, probably some of the stuff that's good there as well. I guess maybe more Palmer. It's a pretty interesting one because it's AoE 1 and lingers for 4 turns. Uh, yeah, that's a nice one. That'll be the first main target. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Battle in Greenwoods. So, quite a lot of stuff sort of spread out. A couple of crossbows in here, little priest at the back. Mostly militia though, right? Oh, light infantry. Heavy infantry. Oh, lots of guys got petrified there. They do waste time hitting them though when they're petrified, which is a bit frustrating, but so... Um, it's fine. Change the script slightly now anyway, because we've got a little bit more research. Uh, so there's Greenwoods. Lost another Sacred and two more Halberd guys. So uh, this army is getting whittled down, unfortunately, but... Um, the fact that it has two... Well, a, my Prophet and a Mage is... Kind of helping it a bit, I think. And another mark, eventual crone curse the land. Misfortune two now. Uh, okay, here's how the map looks. Now, important event this turn is that there are some good mercenaries to recruit, which is auto bog it to elite warriors. So every single bit of gold I had this turn has gone on to bidding on those guys. Three hundred and seventeen gold, bidding on them in the green woods. So if we get them, they'll be here. Um. They'll be able to attack any of these three provinces next turn. Depending on what state this army is in, they might join these guys, or we might be able to attack with both my Prophet army and the mercenaries next turn, which is two attacks. Uh, we should also have another army next turn as well. We'll have 18 sacreds in the garrison plus two commander guys. So we could attack three provinces next turn if we get the mercenaries, which is quite nice. And if this army survives, which would be nice. Um, but we're attacking into Moliton this turn. Militias, Heavy Infantries, and Archers. Um, I pulled the guys a bit further back. We've got some spells now. We're going to do Improved Averted Fate. Improved Averted Fate on our commanders. We're going to do some Desiccated Warriors on our dudes as well to give them a bit of bark skin. And some Burdens of Earth because it's much longer range than the other one. And then the last spell is going to be some Earth Melds if they get this close. 15 range. Um... I don't, know, I, don't, I don't like the fact that these guys like rush off really quickly, but I'm not sure how else to do it. Because I could do this and have these guys holding these guys just attack. But I feel like they're just going to get whittled away by... Um... Well, it's better if they get the buffs as well, isn't it? It's better if they get the box skin. I don't know. It's, it's like this. Maybe I should just leave them where they are. It's because this province is going to have archers, so I, I don't want to be holding in range of archers, I guess, is the thing. Let's compromise and do it halfway between the middle and the back. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll send it into Mullet and anyway, let's hope it goes okay. Um, but hopefully we get the mercenaries next turn as well and can lead out a new army. Um, this scout report is now... looks kind of scary. <laughs> it's a lot more heavy cab than it was last turn. Uh, maybe we'll go this way. Maybe we'll go down instead through the forest. <laughs> uh, still can't see anyone over here, but the scout is moving up to... Uh, our scout is a spy, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. But if we get this guy in someone's cap, we can... Um, well, if they're an early rush target, we could try infiltrating the cap and disrupting it. No idea. 
We'll see how things go anyway. Uh, yeah. We definitely need to take more provinces in our cap circle. Though. This is, we're getting a bit far. But we, it would be weird if we locked down all this territory. I think I'll try and get like a fort in uh, Gent maybe. If it's a good province. Because forests don't prevent us from moving very much. Because most, I think all of our units have forest movement. You do. Uh, okay, the mages don't. But they do have a 17 map move. I don't know. I think Jet might be a nice target for a fort anyway. We'll see. And we definitely need one, one down here as well to block off this oak point route. Maybe Ogwoods. Yeah, Ogwoods might be a nice one if it's a good province. Uh, but anyway, that was turned. Well, I don't think there's anything else to do. Um, recruitment is just sacred because I'm not recruiting any commanders because I want the mercenaries. Uh, so that was turn four. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. I uh, got our research done. Next target is Ench, and then we'll go up the alteration. Uh, Battle in Mollison. Another quite small province. Arches, heavy infantry, and militia. Uh, we do our averted fate. So both of our commanders have twist fate now. You can see it lingering there. Pretty cool. Did any of these units get it? No, they're outside the square. Uh, also do some desiccated warriors. So these guys have 21 protection now, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like these spells. Now we do take a lot of archer fire. Uh, Burden of Earth, I think it misses. I've put um, Averted Fate as the last spell in the script as well to get another four turns of it. Because we're just constantly getting shot by arrows in this fight. Um, my Prophet manages to keep the Twist Fate the whole battle though. My Mage loses it. No problems though. How are my temple destroyers doing? You have a chest wound, and you have... you're weakened. Strength 6, oh, that sucks. They're doing okay though. Uh, so there's Molotin. Temple destroyer's got 14 kills. I need two of them. Uh, yeah, we lost one Halberd champion. That was a very small province though. That was good. Uh, Kamaton, we got an event. Three nature gems. Nice. Oh, so there we go, that's it for messages. Uh, we did not get... Um, Fordo Boggett's Elite Warriors. Our neighbor did, the Lilifors. Um, so let's take a brief moment to go and look at what the nation of Lilifors is and what it does. I'll hand you over to Lilifors, Mew. See you in a moment. Hey guys, let's take a look at the Lilifors. So, they already look scary, look at this thing, oh shit. Um, race, Asmegs and Ictids. Uh, light infantry and heavy infantry. The magic is air. The priests are weak, that's good. We have a lot of undead. Although we're not actually recruiting- well, I guess the mages we're using are undead at the moment. Uh, giant forts, okay. So, this looks very scary. There are scouters and assassin as well, which looks annoying. Let's briefly go through these commanders. they got a basic fish commander. Terrible magic resistance. Uh, nice inspirational axeman. Leader. High priest. H1. Nothing too scary there. Lordmaster. This guy's cool. But he's overcharged. Also an H1 priest. Dual wields. He's pretty nice, you could thug that guy. 18 protection. 14 magic resistance. Good leader as well. Uh, yeah. Clove neophytes, these are the mages. So A2 mages. 5 encumbrance with all this... This is magic armor. Clove, Windweaver, more uh, mages. Uh, okay. So, not the most magic, got a lot of air, that's about it. So we'll check out what some uh, air spells do, I guess. And Clove, Soothsayer, more air, with some earth as well. Okay, so lots of air and earth. And 30 air shield. These guys have really nice armor though. Golden Skull Mill, Golden Cap. Alright, let's see what the big mage is, look at this thing. So he can recruit these. They're only 340 gold, 83 resources. So if you recruit one of these guys, you don't recruit many units, I guess, because of the resources. Uh, it comes with two sprites. 
Uh, they are L1, S1, N1. Lots of picks. These guys are pretty powerful. In the Glamour, they have 30 air shield. And they're shock resistant. We don't do lightning damage though, so who cares? Alright, the mages are pretty cool. They're very thuggy. Uh, units. Basic 8 morale. 8, um, eight magic resistance fish. Um, 9 attack. They do it pretty hard though. 20 damage bone trident. We have impalers. Very similar. And we have impalers. Uh, this guy has a harpoon. Wow. That does damage and nets. Yeah, they're really annoying, aren't they? Are they cheap? Uh, 14 gold, 11 resources. You kill lots of these guys just throwing harpoons. Uh, very low magic resistance. All the fish have very low magic resistance. And uh, we've got some giant troops. Uh, pretty they're good stats, I suppose. 12 prop, 20 hit points. 12 prop, 20 hit points. These are all very similar, I think. These guys have axes, these ones have spears and shields, axe and shield, long spear and shield. Similar sort of thing, 11 protection. Pretty nice stats. Okay, nothing too crazy yet, though. They're just kind of basic giant units. Bags of hit points. There's only size 3 though, I suppose. They're not huge. Not that much protection either. Alright, let's see what the sacred guy is. Alright, so the sacreds just have overcharge? That seems unfair. Uh, they also dual wield. They also have full magic armor. Wow, 18 protection. Okay. They might be a bit tough. Again, they're very expensive though. 56 resources. You probably can't get m many of those unless you have... Lots of resources in your cap. Alright, so there's Lilifors. Um, an Ur Magic Nation with giant troops that all have... that the Sacreds have overcharged for free. They're gonna hit very, very hard. Yeah, they're gonna shred enemy units, aren't they? Um, yeah. We need stuff that destroys armor or penetrates armor, I think. Might be good to get a bunch of archers with flaming arrows to do with these guys, maybe. And there is an armor destroying spell as well. And we've got some star fires. Might be something. Uh, we maybe should look for some uh, lightning resistance spells as well to help our units hitting them with the overcharged. Uh, we'll check out the cap sites as well. They have mine of sky. Let's then recruit the big guy. Gives two ur gems and wooden spire, which heals three units. What? Oh no! The chance of being healed is the value in percent each month. There's a three percent chance to heal. Is that a 3% chance to heal a unit? No, I think it's every single unit has a 3% chance to get healed. That's how I'm reading the tooltip, I don't know. That's still pretty nice. Okay, that's really nice. <laughs> Man, imagine having a healing site in your cap. Uh, but anyway, that's Lil Force. Uh, I'll hand you back over now to in-game Mew. See you in a moment. Wow, thanks Lil Force Mew. I haven't actually recorded that yet, so I don't know what you just said, but I'm sure it's... I'm sure this nation is either very powerful or very weak. One of the two. It's definitely someone we either want to make peace with, or... attack. <laughs> I'll let you know next turn. Um, for now though, I've sent a message to Lilifors, um, basically asking how we're gonna do the borders. Um, I said you can have Cracked Earth and I'll just take Drake. I don't know, <laughs> this is like a natural border here along the mountain, so... Um, hopefully I guess we move up here and take some of this territory before he gets down here. Uh, really frustratingly, we can see in Berman Highs there is actually a great gold mine here for 100 gold per turn. I would like to be able to get that province and lock that down, but I don't think I have any hope of doing that. Uh, but you never know, I have asked him if he has space to expand north. Maybe he'll prioritize going up here uh, and leave this for a while. Um, but it will have to be a long while because... The only way we can get to there is through White Waste and then Elkland and then back to Berman Highs. And that will include going through the 50 barbs. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get that province at any point, but uh, we'll try. But for now though, um, my army of Molotan is going to dodge Dweck because I don't know what Lilliforce is going to say. And it's probably a low value province anyway because it's a swamp. So we'll try doing Gen. Hopefully this goes okay. It's heavy infantry and militias again. If it's a small number, maybe it'll be fine. Uh, script has changed slightly. We're going to do Desiccated Warriors twice, and then Starfires. We've just got... So this will be three 
effects, I think. The rest too. A um, little bit of armor getting damage. And then we'll do another reverted fate on the last turn. Uh, hopefully that goes okay. Um, you can't see any archers here. Maybe I could get away with not doing the averted fate on the first turn. And do another desiccated warriors. Get lots of our troops armored up. Might end up paying for that, but let's see how it goes anyway. Uh, and down here, Kamatan. Uh, a new army is being sent out. So, same sort of thing. We've got a guy who just blessings, and then we've got a mage doing the same script. Um, they're just strange at the back here. The sacreds are on hold and attack. And hopefully that goes fine. This is a small province. Nice to get through here. If we're really lucky, maybe we could get the harbor and then get this harbor and then secure like the coastline. If we're, if we're pushed in really badly here, maybe that's an option. But that's probably not feasible. This army probably won't last very long, to be honest. Uh, we might be able to stop a few turns in Gent and recruit something. Maybe get some mercenaries or maybe put a fort up here. I don't know. And then maybe this will stay open for like 20 turns and we'll <laughs> take it then. But um, yeah, I don't know. We're going to be pushed in here. We have to... It's going to be so hard to expand through here. Provinces are so tough. 50 heavy cav, 40 knights, 50 bobs. I don't know. Uh, but that's it for this turn. It's those two movements. And we'll wait and hear back from the little fours. Uh, so that was turn five. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Two battles. Let's see. First up, Ederol. This is my new army. Uh, mages end up right in front, which is strange, but we're doing Twist Fate on turn one, so that should be fine. Just against some archers and some militias and stuff. Uh, I think we do hit the... Nope. Desiccated Warriors. Oh, it does hit these guys. That's pretty good. Lands Charge obliterates the Militia. Uh, archers don't last long either. Pretty nice. Uh, 18 of these guys might have been overkill. I don't know. <laughs> They're pretty brutal. Uh, small province, I suppose. I also had a battle in Gent. Might be the last battle my Prophet army has. Let's see. So these guys got hit with the um, desiccation. 20 protection. Pretty nice. Good stuff. Uh, no losses in both battles. Really nice. Uh, and here's the map. So I got a message back from Lilifors. Um, yeah, and he said he'll take the correct earth. I said I'll take Jurek eventually. Um, I assume this is going to walk to here now and get this amazing gold mine province. Which sucks, but not much I can do about it. His expansion is clearly ahead of mine as well. I wonder if he's got an awake god. Or I suppose you can expand with just a small squad of those guys if you've got easy provinces. I'm not sure. Uh, can see another neighbor here. Who is this? I haven't actually checked who this out is yet. Uh, Zoko. I haven't messaged them yet. But um, if they're already on the coast and then they can get into the water, it means they're going to take all of this, which is going to be annoying. Uh, there's nothing really we can, we can do about that, though. Seems like a good moment to uh, start looking at Zoko, City of Drowning. Uh, these guys look big. Let's see, Atlanteans, half men, prefer heat scales. Uh, water magic, weak fire, astral, and death. Moderate priests. Fortified cities can build underwater forts. Uh, yeah, these guys are going to have a really easy time underwater, huh? But let's see what they've got. Scout. Regular scout. Has shock resistance for some reason. Good stuff. Commanding champion. Uh, inspirational and taskmaster. Great leader. General. Uh, recuperating Berserk, Trampling, Minotaur guy. Yeah, this is going to be rough, isn't it, putting these guys? Um, neophyte. Divine Insight, Philosopher. Uh, one Research, H1 Priest. With Poison Skin, of course. Cool, that costs 55 gold. Uh, High Priest, H2. Same bonuses other than that. 
Colonel. Uh, a slave, inspirational, berserk, trampling. Berserk 7? Is that normal for Minotaurs? That's crazy. Recuperation. Uh, yeah, another nice commander you could easily make a thug out of. Two attacks, 21 damage each, 14 attack, yikes. Let's see the mages. 95 gold for water 1 mage. Uh, nice picks, although I haven't looked at the spell books yet, so who knows. Pretty good. Uh, Hibernal Reaver. Water 2, H1. Uh, so they have lots of holy on the nation, since all the mages have it. 230 gold. And let's see the big mage. Damn, 470 gold. This guy has a lot of magic. Uh, and two big picks, and then maybe another pick as well. Wow, these guys are extremely good mages. Holy shit. 19 research. They have sun or shock resistance. No bonuses, really. Just extremely powerful mages who are also holy two priests. Yikes. Yeah, these are uh, really frightening mages. Very expensive, though. Maybe he won't get many of them out. Who knows? Uh, units, let's see. Recuperating Sator guys. Uh, seven morale. <laughs> Lives. Cool. Got some... Are these Atlanteans? Uh, I'm not sure. Chakram thrower. Range 12 Chakram, 16 damage. Uh, low morale and low magic resistance. Axe guy, same stats. They do have a big shield, which is interesting. Uh, fire protection, cuirass, and no helmet, though. Yeah, same sort of thing. We have white centaur guys. Um, nothing too special. They're archers, I guess. They're 22 gold. Reprop. Recuperate. They're not sacred. They are stealthy, though, which would be annoying. Uh, Shambler Impaler. Alright, these guys are pretty nice. They hit very hard. 19 damage with the spear. Length 4. Only 10 attack. They're very slow. Morale is pretty low. Magic resistance is pretty low. Um, they're not too bad, I guess. Easily march those through the water and probably take a lot of provinces. Right. These guys, I assume, are going to be the big units. Let's check these guys out. So yeah, they're all they're all like tramplers who recuperate and have shock resistance. Uh, ten magic resistance, though. That's not too bad for us because we're going to be using a lot of astral spells that MR negates. So if he's only recruiting small groups of expensive units, although these guys aren't even that expensive, twenty-seven gold. Uh, we'll be just um, soul slaying them each turn. Pretty scary though, 17 protection too. Trident version. Same sort of thing I think. So these ones are 27 gold, these are 35 gold. Is there a big difference between them? These guys actually have worse stats, they have lower protection and lower attack and defense, but they're more expensive. I'm not sure I understand why. Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, they're just worse all around, aren't they? But they have a longer weapon. I'm not sure. I'm, maybe I'm missing something. I'm going through this very quickly, but so um, yeah, Brondi, um, Bardish version. A little low stats. These guys don't look too tough. I think our lance charge will just annihilate them because their, their protection isn't great. They've got no defense or anything. Sixty gold. Okay, this is the sacred version. Okay, so this is the big version we have to worry about. 21 damage, 12 attack, 2 attacks per round. They recuperate, they have Berserk 7. Oh, I didn't even think about that. How much... These guys have Berserk 2. That's not much of a difference. But yeah, the Sacreds have Berserk 7, that's crazy. Um, yeah, they're going to be tough. They're very expensive though. If it's just a small, new, a small number of um, high quality troops, I think that's okay for us. I'm not sure. And Raging God. 30 damage Claymore. Yikes. Uh, yeah, pretty scary troops, very scary mages. And it's going to be... These guys are just going to easily get all the underwater provinces, which is a big issue. Because they're going to be huge. Uh, maybe I should message one of his other neighbors and say, maybe we should gang up on this guy so that he doesn't get huge. I'm not sure. Uh, let's, okay, let's check the sites as well. Do you heal all your units in your cap? Looks like no. 
Nothing crazy on the uh, cap sites then. Ah uh, yeah, but those are okay anyway. I'll hand you back to the turn. Thanks for watching. We do have a lot of undead troops, but they're not underwater undead, unfortunately. They're just ghouls. So they're not um, aquatic in any way. Which kind of sucks. Um, I don't want to have the entire lake next to me all taken by an enemy who's... Ah, there's his cap as well. It's a bit awkward. Uh, anyway, this turn. I forgot to mention it last time, but I did slightly different recruitment. Um, I recruited a few infantry troops as well, these guys, in addition to the sacreds, because we had a little bit of gold. Um, and I also recruited one of our uh, H1 priests as well. So I recruited this guy just to walk around putting up temples, because our other priests are going to be used for army stuff. Um, so that's his role. Um, so we've got him this turn. He's going to move over to Gent to put up a temple. And I have the mage here building a fortress already. Um, and I'm going to leave behind the units here. So all of the regular units, the archers and the albadiers, are just going to sit here now in Gent with the mage while he builds a fortress. And I made a mistake as well. Um, I thought that our forts cost 800 gold. They don't. They cost 900 gold. Uh, and five months. So it's a bit rough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start getting up a fortress here. I'll bump the province events up here massively when I can. Not a great spot for a fort, but none of these provinces are. This, I feel like, would be too aggressive, putting a fort right on someone's border. Um, the forest might be a possibility, but it's got lower um, recruitment points than Gen. Uh, I don't know. Do X a swamp? Don't want to put one there. I think it's the best place for an early fort, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So my profit plus two... Um, Temple Destroyers are going to head back to my cap. The H1 Priest in my cap is going to head to Gent. Uh, so we're kind of switching positions here. And uh, my Prophet can lead out a new army from Kamatan in a few turns. We've got six of these guys in the garrison so far, recruiting five this turn. Plus we're bringing two. And then we'll get one more turn of recruitment. That's plenty. We'll go up through the barbs and into this region, see what we can take over here. Uh, mage this turn, I'm recruiting a cheap mage, 45 gold. Apprentice Stargazer. Uh, I'd like to get out a big mage to do some side searching, so we might do one of those guys up next turn. Uh, and then we'll just do Apprentice Stargazers for a while while we get our infrastructure set up. And down here, the new squad that just took Yedderal, gonna move into Oak Woods next. Um, same stuff. Uh, but that's it for this turn anyway. There are mercenaries, it's Arnold's Archers. Not hugely useful, I don't think. I suppose we could get them to tank a lance charge if they're. Mind you, 150 gold to ch take a lance charge. Maybe if they go unrecruited for a while, they'll get cheap and we can use them for that. And um, that's one of the reasons I want a couple of uh, melee troops. Just to soak up a lance charge from all these knights. Uh, Scout's over here. We can see a little bit more of Lilliforce there. I'd like to see where his army is and what it's composed of. Oh uh, yeah, but that's it for this turn. Uh, I've got PD everywhere. Research is zero at the moment, but the same targets. Uh, last person to take my turn. I think it looks good though. That's fine. I think I might be the only um, sort of European player because every morning I wake up and everyone's done their turn except me. But then no one does their turn throughout the day until like the very late evening. Uh, that was turn six though. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.